Hello, I'm Jordan, and welcome to the Lee County Libraries. Have you ever been interested in learning about your family history? Today we are exploring your roots by learning about Ancestry.com offered here at the library. If you're interested in learning more, please stay tuned. First, what is Ancestry.com? Ancestry.com is a paid website that allows people to search for historical documents related to genealogy. The library provides access to Ancestry.com at no additional charge to patrons. Remote access to the library edition is available until August 31st. Library access is for research purposes only. You'll need to sign up for a free or paid account to organize personal information on Ancestry.com. Today you'll learn how to get access to Ancestry.com and how to search for historical documents. Now let's get started. First, go to the library website at library.leecountync.gov. Scroll down and click on our Ancestry.com at Home link. Log in with your library card number and PIN number. To begin your search, either click Begin Searching or click on Search and select the category you want. I'm going to select all categories for my example. Now you're ready to find new resources. So we're going to go over how to search, how to view your search results, and some search tips for you. So first of all, you can do a standard search by name. For my example, I'm going to use Wyatt Earp. You see that brings up some search results here. You can also search by the place, and it can be the place they were born, the place they lived, or the place they died. So you see, we've already got a search result that seems to match what we're looking for. But another option on here is to search by the birth year. And if you don't know the exact birth year, you can put an approximate age in what year they were that you know. And another option on here is whether or not the search is exact. So you'll notice that as I'm typing these in, a little box at the bottom comes up that says exact. You can click on the exact box and it will filter your results so that they only match that one particular year or place or whichever one you set to be exact. You see we've got a result right here in the Arizona voting registrations. So results can be organized by either records or categories. Let's just set this back to where it was. So you see we've got a match at the very top here 
and we can keep on scrolling down to see if the other results match too. It looks like they do for the most part. We can also search by categories. So for example, census and voter list and census records can be very helpful in your research. You can search by birth, marriage, and death and by military. So let's click on census and voter list. We can see the census results right here. Or instead of going to the filter by on the side here, we can just click on categories. And it brings up the information we want to filter by. And one option it gives you on here is view. That's where you can click on view image if an image is available and you'll see a picture of that image. So here we can see the census record for 1920 for Wyatt S. Earp. I'm going to click on this top record here since that's the closest match. view. We see the census record again. Let's go back to the very first search results page. Click on this result here. You'll see you can click on these. This is part of the Find a Grave Index. It's linked to the findagrave.com website, which is another very useful resource. You see, we've got a picture of the grave right there. Now, other ways that you can search, other options that are available to you are down here under Show More Options. Not only can you choose whether or not to match the terms exactly, you can add an event such as a birth, marriage, death. Um, you can add a family member and uh, search based on their relationship, a father, a mother, sibling, spouse, child, whatever it may be. You can also search by keywords and by gender and race or nationality. Also, be very aware of spelling variations when you're on here because sometimes there may be an abbreviation um, such as WM dot for William, um, or just a mistake, or it could be a different person altogether. Uh, you see right here we have a Wyatt Earp who was born about 1825 in North Carolina, and he spells his with an I, so that's probably not the same Wyatt Earp. Also through Ancestry, you can sign up for a free account to organize your family tree or sign up for a paid account for additional resources. They also offer the ability to hire an expert and they offer DNA testing. Ancestry Academy offers short video tutorials. The useful links below will help you get started. Thank you for joining us today and have fun exploring your roots. Goodbye.